We built instant checkout so you can get instant results. Most merchants would rather spend their time and energy on their business versus making design decisions on their checkout form. And that's where instant checkout comes in. This is the checkout design that you can have. There's a ton of design customization options that I'm going to show you in this video. And we've also added a single click dark mode to your instant checkout forms. And if your customers already logged into your website because they purchased there before, and if your buyer happens to be logged in because they purchased from you before, their information's going to be pre-filled out like you can see right here. And there'll be an avatar of their image in the top right corner that they can click on if they want to go to the dashboard. And of course, this instant checkout design looks pixel perfect on any mobile device. It's perfectly mobile responsive and just looks great. And the instant checkout form offers just enough customizations for you to get it to look exactly how you want it to look, including sizing your store logo if you want to show the logo at all showing the product image, the description, the coupon field, and the terms. You can even customize the direct link that goes to this instant checkout page. We built this because we didn't want merchants to have to make all sorts of design decisions to have a great e-commerce experience. So instant checkout will bring you instant results. Now there's just three simple steps to get started. But before you get started, we just need to verify some of the information that you've added to the settings. More specifically, have you added a store logo? Have you added your store's terms of service and privacy policy? Let me show you where to go set those inside of the settings. So let's go ahead and hop into the settings right here. And the first is right here with the store settings where it says store name. This is going to be used in that little snippet of text for your terms and service that someone will agree to on the checkout. Next, we'll click on design and branding. And here you're going to set the brand's color. And this is the color that's also used inside of the instant checkout. If you wanted to use the dark mode, Shortcart has a very easy to turn on dark mode and it will switch everything automatically to dark mode for you. You can see here I have it set to light mode, but if you click here, you can switch it to dark mode as well. And of course, over here on the right is where you would set your store's logo. This also is used inside of the instant checkout. However, as you saw a moment ago, it's optional. Next, we want to click right here where it says customer portal and you'll see right here it says store details. And this is where you'll put the link on your website to the terms of service and the privacy policy. Both are used inside of the instant checkout. Now that you verified that all of that is set up, we have three simple steps to follow. First, we're going to create a product. Second, we're going to create some prices. And third, we're going to make a few customizations to our instant checkout. Let me show you. I'll go to where it says products and I'll click into that. And then I'm going to click add new to create a new product. And I'll give this product a name. Next, you'll click the create button and that product is created. But there's a few additional pieces of information that you're going to want to add. First, you're going to want to add a description here of the course. Now, what's nice is there's also some editing options where you can bold and italicize different bits of text that you put in here. Next step would be to add an image for your product. This also is optional, but it makes the instant checkout page look that much nicer. Just click right here where it says add image and you can upload a new image or select one that you've already added to Surecard. Then you can scroll down a little bit and add any integrations that you want to add as well as any downloads that you might want to add to this product. Now we're on to step two, which is to create one or more prices for this product. So I'll go right here where it says add a price. And right here, I'll choose a name for the price. Next, you'll choose the payment type. Is this a one-time payment, an installment plan, or a subscription? For this, I'm going to leave it as a one-time payment, and I'll enter in the price of $299. And then I'll click where it says Create Price. Now I have my first price, and you can add multiple prices, and there'll be that price selector shown. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll click on Add Another Price. And I want to have an installment plan for people that can't quite afford the $299 all at once. So let's set this up. I've named this one payment plan. 
I'll choose installment. And for this, I'll have a four month split payment. And for each payment, I'm going to charge $85 and we're going to repeat this every month and we will do this for four months. So I'll change this number of payments to four and that's it. I'll go ahead and click on create price just like that. Now, if you've created some prices and you want to change the order of them as they'll show on the front, you can click on the toggle here and you can drag and drop to rearrange these prices to be exactly in the order that you want them to appear. Now is the fun part, step three, which is to customize our instant checkout and make it public. The instant checkout options are here on the top right and I can click on this arrow and it's going to show me all of my options. So first is, do I want to show the store logo or not? I do. And depending on the size of your store logo, it might be a vertical or a horizontal logo. You can set the width here to get it to look exactly how you want it to look. I'll leave that there. And here's an option to show or hide the product image, the product description, the coupon field, and if you want to require the buyer to check the box for your terms and services, and then you can customize the URL slug. For now, let's go ahead and preview the instant checkout page. You can click this button right here to preview it, or over here on the top left, there's also an option to view the instant checkout page. But before you do that, we have to click on the save option to save everything that we've done. Now we can click on view instant checkout to see how the checkout page is looking. And I've got to say, it looks fantastic already. Now this is not published and the way that you know this is not published and made available to the public is because right here in the top left, it says not published. So say I want to edit this, maybe I don't want to show this large image and I want to publish the instant checkout page. Let's go back and click on edit product again. And then I'm going to go here where it says instant checkout. I'm going to toggle off the product image and I'm going to toggle right here where it says published. Now there's also an option to have the checkout form be in test mode in case you want to test it. I'll leave that off and then I'll go ahead and click on save product. And now let's click on view instant checkout again. And you can just see what it looks like without the product image in there. And you can see it's now published. We don't have that badge that said not published. Now what you can do is take the direct link to this instant checkout page and you can add it in emails that you send out or anywhere on your social media profiles or on your website. So to get that link, it's very easy. Click back again to where it says edit product. And then in the drop down here where it says instant checkout, you see there's now this green dot. That means that the instant checkout is published. So let's go ahead and do the drop down. And right down here is the direct link to that checkout. I can click this icon here off to the right and it's going to copy it to my clipboard and I can use this anywhere on my website. Surecart makes e-commerce easy. Anyone can do this. And now with instant checkout, you can have instant results.